Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm going to share a grocery haul with you. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. We just got home from Kroger. That's where we go. And we have been shopping one time every two weeks. So every other Tuesday, it is currently May 12th. So we just got back. We have stuff for two weeks of meals and then also just random things that we were running out of. Um, yeah, so let me show you everything that we got. And then I'm also going to share how we've been keeping our lettuce and produce fresher longer because we are only going to the store once every two weeks. This is an overview of all of our produce that we picked up. All right, we picked up strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries. We eat these first because the berries do go bad faster than the other fruit that we got. We got mushrooms for stir fry along with peppers, onion, and shredded carrots. We got some asparagus that we're going to put on the grill. And then we also got broccoli. We eat a vegetable with every single dinner. And so we usually have Brussels sprouts, broccoli, or asparagus and they were out of brussels sprouts we still have some but yeah i don't know what we'll do we'll probably do side salads a lot the next couple of weeks we got iceberg lettuce which we use for tacos and then we got arugula we also got romaine and spinach a couple of limes and then granny smith apples these go in one of the salads we eat and then adam likes to have one with lunch we got a couple of russet potatoes adam has one of those like commercial grade potato slicers that makes homemade fries so we're gonna make some homemade fries with one of our meals this week and then we also got zucchini because we're doing zoodles so i I think we made those in our first cook with us video. I will cook both of our two cook with us videos um, down below in the bottom bar. I'll leave the one that this recipe is in up here. Uh, but we buy zucchinis basically every time we go. A couple avocados for me for avocado toast. And then grapes are one of my favorite fruits. We also picked up a pineapple because they last pretty long. Lemons for lemon water and a bag of clementines. That's the produce that we picked up. Once I go through the rest of this, I'll show you guys how I package up our lettuce and make it last much longer. Here is an overview of everything else that we got. The weather is finally getting nicer here, so we're gonna grill a couple of times. So Adam got some hot dog buns and brats for lunches, and then um, I got hamburger buns for turkey burgers, which we didn't have to buy any meat. Adam got meat from a local friend of his that manufactures meat or whatever, so we didn't have to buy any meat on this trip, which is why you won't see any like turkey meat or steak or anything like that. Adam does sandwiches for lunches, so we got Italian and wheat, and then he's doing salami and roast beef, I think. And then we got smoked sausage. I do the turkey sausage, and then he does regular, so we'll put these in like egg scrambles or um, like just breakfast. If we're doing pancakes or something, we'll do a side of sliced sausage. We're hoping to go on a picnic, so we got some charcuterie meats. We got pepperoni and hard salami, and then we also got some wheat thins and some of these just like entertainment crackers. They're the private selection Kroger brand. Um, but yeah, we like to just bring kind of like snacks when we go on picnics and this trip will go over Memorial Day weekend So it's not this next weekend, but the weekend after so we want we wanted to make sure we had stuff for that weekend We were out of sugar. So we just grabbed some sugar. I got some blueberry Nutri-Grain bars I we buy almost everything Kroger brand I've tried the Kroger brand of these and they are just not as good So we still buy the brand name of them a very very sad um, oversight was we bought graham crackers and Hershey's bars, but we did not buy marshmallows. So I don't know. We were going to try and have s'mores and do a little fire in the backyard. I don't know, either this weekend coming up or Memorial Day weekend if it was nice out. So I don't know. We might end up going back to the store at some point and grabbing some marshmallows. We are going to make biscuits and gravy. And so we got some biscuits and we got the mild pork sausage this is also the kroger brand we try to do like one 
I, I'm calling it fancy breakfast. It's not actually fancy, but just like one breakfast that we make together on the weekends. So breakfast or so biscuits and gravy is what we're gonna do at some point over the next two weeks. So that is kind of our like special breakfast that we'll have together. And then we just needed some more pepper jack and taco cheese. We got hummus and salsa. This salsa is the best. It's from Garden Fresh. It's actually made in Michigan and it is delicious. I like this one. It's the thick and chunky. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Then again, we were just out of um, canola spray. We got pizza sauce and English muffins because I'm gonna do English muffin pizzas. Um, probably we're planning on doing a couple of dinners on our own, so I might do that for a dinner or just like a quick lunch if I am busy. So I got those. Orange juice. We were out of butter. We got two things of eggs. We usually get a dozen and a half, but we ended up getting two dozen this time. We got dried cranberries, pecans, and walnuts. These are all things that we put in our salads. We do the pecan crusted chicken, so this makes the crust, and then also we put them in the salad. And then we do the um, blackened chicken clementine salad, and that has walnuts in it, and both of them actually have cranberries. We were out of toothpaste, in case you care what kind we use. This is what we use. I have been using this kind for years. It's my favorite. And then Adam loves popcorn. It's one of his favorite snacks and we were out, so we grabbed a new bag. We were out of honey. We got water chestnuts for stir fries, both crunchy and creamy peanut butter. I don't eat either of these. I really like the Jif Natural Crunchy. I do not like creamy peanut butter, which I know I am. It's a very unpopular opinion, but I only eat crunchy. Adam likes both depending on what he's eating. So we got both. These are for him. These are also both Adam snacks for lunches, I'm assuming. We got chips for the salsa. Peanuts, another Adam snack. We're making tacos one of the nights, so we grabbed some taco shells. We have tried the Kroger brand so many times and they always come completely broken. So now we just get the, these ones. These ones are a little bit bigger and the mouth of them is wider. So they just have worked for us. Super random, but that's the kind of taco shells that we get. We got two boxes of mac and cheese. I personally like the Kraft Deluxe with like the squeezy cheese and Adam likes the thick and creamy, but he doesn't like the noodles that come with this one. We can't find either of the ones that we like at the store because they're out. So we ended up getting elbow macaroni to make with this powdered cheese. And then we also got two boxes of penne just because we were out of pasta and penne is what both of us kind of prefer when we're making pasta. I actually haven't really had pasta very much recently, but um, Adam really likes it, especially if we're eating dinner separately. A lot of times he'll have pasta. I've heard so much good stuff about this. It is the um, protein pancake and waffle mix. And I actually bought it the last time we were at the store and I bought the chocolate chip kind and not the buttermilk kind. This is another unpopular opinion. I do not like chocolate chips in my breakfast food. I don't want them in muffins or pancakes or waffles or anything. And so I rebought it this time the right kind. And then we got a couple of cereals, the frosted mini wheats, off brand, honey nut Cheerios and Lucky Charms. This is my favorite kind of cereal on the planet. It is so good. Laundry detergent, very exciting. All right, I had to come down to the basement because we had already put these down there, but I got some flannel mouth. This is from Blake's, which is a local cider, I guess, brewery. And flannel mouth is one of my favorites. I really like their light ciders, but they only come in a variety pack and I don't like the mojito lime. So yeah, I ended up getting these. And then Adam got this, the Dirty Blonde from Atwater. This is another local brewery. And then I got some Angry Orchard and he got some summer shandy. I didn't want the frozen stuff to melt, so I just pulled them out of the freezer to show you guys. We got vanilla ice cream so that Adam can make chocolate uh, milkshakes. We got chocolate ice cream for me. This is the only kind of ice cream that I eat is chocolate ice cream, or if we go to like a Dairy Queen, I'll get a Twist with Sprinkles or a Blizzard with chocolate ice cream and Reese's. So I got Reese's and I'm going to do a DIY Blizzard. And then we also got a frozen pizza. Um, 
I don't know if this is the same kind of at everyone's stores that the same things are out, but frozen pizza, there's usually like two choices in the entire aisle. So it's kind of easy, I guess, to make your decision because there aren't as many options right now. The only things I didn't show you is we got a two liter of soda water because I might do vodka soda with lime and then Adam got sparkling water. He does the Kroger brand sparkling water, the lemon, lime, and the mixed berry. And then I got a um, seltzer water, the lemon Kroger brand seltzer water. And then we got black peppercorns and thyme leaves. Um, we go through pepper <laughs> unbelievably quickly. So we needed more of both of these. I have no idea what the right thing to do for produce is. So I do just get a bowl of soapy water in the sink. I put the produce in here, I rinse it off, and then I put it on this towel to dry. I don't know if that is something we're supposed to do. I put dish soap in the water. I don't put regular soap or anything like that. So that's just what we do. It's worked, I've done it for the past like three grocery tri trips. So it's like six weeks and nothing has changed flavor, nothing has tasted bad, and nothing has gone bad quicker because of it. And then let me show you what we do with our lettuce. So we have a few of these larger Tupperware containers. I put a layer of paper towel, a layer of lettuce, a layer of paper towel, This helps soak up all the moisture from the spinach and we also don't wash it until we're ready to eat it. So it doesn't have extra moisture when it's going into the Tupperware container and then the paper towel helps absorb, absorb the moisture so that it lasts way, way, way longer. Like we can still eat lettuce on the last day of our like grocery store trips. So 14 days and our lettuce is still fresh. My biggest tips for buying for longer periods of time is eat the things that go bad fastest. So berries for us are the produce that goes bad the fastest and bananas and then clementines, apples, grapes, stuff like that doesn't go bad as fast. And then also to wash everything, I took all of them off of the vines and we'll just keep them in containers like this so they're really easy to get to because I've noticed that if produce is hard to get to, you still have to slice it and wash it and do all of that. I won't eat it as fast and then we end up wasting it. So if you make it really easy, it's so much easier to just grab a healthy snack instead of something that's not healthy. Anyway, that is all of the food that we got for the next two weeks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's super different for me. I've never done any kind of grocery haul before. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.